How's it going guys? Today I am joining you from Chicago. I am here not doing any sporting event. We actually got an opportunity to film a store grand opening for Finish Line uh, here in Chicago. So I'm getting everything packed up to head over to the mall where it's going to take place. And the plan is, is to do a live stream about 9.45 local time here. And that's going to get pushed out to the Finish Line app and potentially it'll be post-produced and posted somewhere else. So. Hopefully you guys can see it, but it'll be pretty exciting. It should be a pretty quick broadcast. Um, they're thinking maybe like 15, maybe 20 minutes at the most. So it'll be kind of a nice leisure, you know, read some tweets toward the store and wrap it up. So excited to do it. Excited to take you guys along with me. Alright guys, so we're here in store now. This is the finish line in Chicago. This stream is going to be a lot different than the other events that I've done before, which primarily consists of sports. We're doing a grand opening for the store. What's going to be cool and unique about this one is the stream will consist of an NBA star answering some Twitter questions and then walking around the store giving a tour. So it'll be probably pretty quick, probably about like 15 minutes, but it'll be pretty exciting and a lot different. So let's take a look around. So with this particular setup, we're actually going to be using a rented live stream studio. This is the HD 550 box. Um, pretty much the same setup as what we already have built. Um, it's not as powerful as the machine we built, but it's a little bit slimmer. So you kind of take some and you lose some. The other cool part with this setup is it actually has the live stream surface, which is basically a little MIDI controller that allows us to change camera inputs without having to use the keyboard. What's nice about it too is it's lit up and it's assignable so I can change what input one does. So I can set it to cameras, I can set the third one to be the remote camera which will be my iPhone which I'll show you guys that in a second here and then graphics. So it's really cool to be able to have those physical buttons. It makes it a lot more like an actual production switcher than just a computer program. <laughs> So take it day by day. Don't look too far ahead. Only control what you can. You can um, control at the end of the day and enjoy the whole experience. All right, guys, just made it back to the hotel room after a long day of getting set up and running the stream. It went successful. The uh, stream only lasted about 10 minutes, which was a little surprising. So we were expecting it to maybe go like 15 minutes, but I'm not gonna complain. All the technology worked great. The live stream computer that we rented had no issues. I got to use the uh, surface control for that that I showed you earlier. So that was pretty cool. And then the part where I used my iPhone for the actual remote camera went without any incident. So she was able to do a tour around the whole store and with everyone being there and everyone's cell phones, I had no issues. So it was pretty cool. So hopefully we can incorporate that into future broadcasts, maybe even some live sport events, but 
for the purpose that we needed it for worked great. So was super excited to do this with Finish Line. Hopefully we'll do more events with them as they do more store openings in different locations. So everything looked like it went off um, without a hitch, a little timing issues, but that's stuff that can all be tweaked and corrected. So I'm excited to uh, head back to Denver tomorrow morning was super fun being out here in Chicago again. Um, I was here one year for uh, water ski and I might be back here on my way to Wisconsin later this August. So we'll see. Of course, I'll keep you guys up to date as usual, but hope you enjoyed this and I will look for you guys in the next adventure. See ya.